Welcome back. It's Tuesday, so we're checking in with the unconventional dietitian Daphne Olivier. She joins us virtually. Daphne, thank you so much for being here with us. Of course. Thank you for having me. So we're kind of continuing our conversation. Last week we kind of talked about dementia. Today we're tackling Alzheimer's disease. What lifestyle choices can we make um, in regards to Alzheimer's? Yes, yeah, so Alzheimer's disease is a disease of the brain mm. and it is the most common form of dementia. And there are basically, there are multiple things. It's a very complex disease, but from the, the things that you have control over from a lifestyle perspective, um, two main things come to mind. One is to make sure that you are moving. So part of Alzheimer's disease is that there's a lack of blood flow and the vasculature into the brain. Um, so. We want to keep that that vasculature healthy and so moving your body on a regular basis whether it's going for long walks or dancing or getting on a bike whatever you do you need to move your body to keep that blood flow going yeah the second thing is um alzheimer's disease has been named type 3 diabetes okay. because it's very closely related to fluctuating blood sugars so um, all of the information that you hear about diabetes, uh, we really need to, to nail down managing blood sugar and prevent those really big fluctuations in blood sugar. Yeah. So I would definitely, you know, it kind of, everybody's in a different, a different place in their eating, uh, in their eating world. But first thing I would say is kind of out the big chunks of sugar so whether it's that you know that little bit of sweetness that you have after every meal kind of cutting back on that yeah. on the quantity cutting back on the frequency of it of course beverages whether it's coffee drinks or um, sodas those are another really big place that people get sugar and so cutting back these there's bigger chunks of sugar is a good place to start and then we can you know further work on managing blood sugar on a meal to meal basis yeah I love that we're, we're tackling this. We talked exercise and sugar. Is there anything else that we can do lifestyle-wise? Um, I think keeping your brain um, occupied, challenging your brain. So, you know, you hear a lot of things like um, crossword puzzles and um, word finds and those kind of the Sudoku type things. Keeping your brain active can also be helpful just to, um, to keep your brain focused and on task because those are the things that you lose whenever Alzheimer's starts, that dementia starts to happen. You lose the ability to um, think and process. Yeah, these are all great tips. We love having you on. If people at home have a question, how can they contact you? You can reach me through my website, theunconventionaldietitian.com, or through Facebook or Instagram at The Unconventional Dietitian. Daphne, as always, we love having you. If you at home you want to learn more, head to our website, kdn.com. We'll be right back after this.